had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> Hey, buenos dias, que paso amigos, John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're not really hanging out in the garage. I'm actually up in beautiful Utah. And we're gonna go explore a little bit and I'm gonna share with you guys five reasons why I totally dig the Supermotos. And I did some while back, five reasons why everybody has to have a Supermoto. So some of this will be a little bit of a uh, repeat, but I don't want to just tell you guys why I love the Supermoto. I actually want to show you guys as well. So let's hit it. And of course, in addition to that, we're going to explore this beautiful small town here in Utah. Wicked nice out here. Now the cool thing about these small towns is they're quite small towns, but people rip up and down the streets on dirt bikes and quads and razors and side by side all the time. So you don't really feel like you're bugging people like you are out in the up in the city, you know? All right, let's jump into it. So the first thing I really dig about the Supermotos is the price point. This is a DRZ, it's a 2013, and I picked this thing up for 3,400 bucks. Had about 8,000 miles on it. And so you can get yourself into one of these without breaking the bank. Newer, relatively good condition. This one has aftermarket exhaust, shorty levers all kinds of stuff. We're going up into the mountains. So number one, price point. Number two, maintenance on these things is pretty dang simple, pretty straightforward, pretty easy peasy. A few videos back, I complained about how it's not fuel injected, but somebody pointed something out and they said, with carbs, it's easy to clean the carbs, adjust the carbs and do all that. You're not dealing with electronic fuel injection. These are more bare bones basic. And I thought, you know, that's actually a very good point. So you adjust the chain, do oil changes, you know, they're pretty much a solid tank aside from that. Ugh. Number three reason, these things are a blast and fun. Um, so whether you're a beginner or an advanced, long time experienced rider, or myself who falls somewhere in the middle there, this is fun for everybody. As a beginner, these are great bikes to start out on. A little bit tall, I'll admit, but they're not excessively powerful. So you're not gonna kill yourself if you start out on one of these, taking it easy. Had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> and then, even if you have a ton of experience riding, you jump on one of these and have such a blast. And the reason you can have such a blast, speak of El Diablo, is because they're so dang versatile. Look at this, reason number four, you can go on and off road. Now this has off road tires, but I've done it with my other DRZ, I've even jumped you know, I've done dirt jumps on that one. It has uh, it has street tires, and you can still pull it off, no problem. So yeah, these things are versatile. Was that reason number four? The versatility. On-road, off-road. Easy peasy. No bonfires, no camping. There used to be a spot out here where you could uh, go into the water. I'm not gonna be doing it, but. So here we are. And then this leads me into reason number five. 
in addition to being good for beginners, they're good, good bikes for learning some of the fundamentals, some of the basics. I've never ridden on dirt, I'm not professional when it comes to dirt, and yet as you can see, here I am, able to romp this thing on off-road with ease. Ugh. In addition to that, in addition to learning some of those fundamental basic skills, another cool thing about these is they're really, really good for learning wheelies. Now, I've, I've always said, I think the, I think if you're learning wheelies initially, get a small bike like a Honda Grom or a pit bike even, or a dirt bike. But this one is going to be a great, great option if you can't really afford or you just, you know, don't have the time to mess around with buying multiple bikes. Then, but you want something that's versatile, can throw you up on the freeway, but also roll out through off-road stuff like this. Oh, I don't want to go in the mud. Anyway, it's just one of those bikes that can kind of do it all, you know. There are there are some downsides to it that I mentioned in other videos. It's not going to be it's not going to be the best for hitting the freeway and highway speeds. Although I have heard a lot of people say that they change up the gearing which makes it better for that but every time I jump on the freeway after a couple miles I just feel like I'm really really maxing this thing out we'll go explore a little more this way so there you have it five things I totally dig about the supermoto the price point they're super affordable super cheap you can get a nice affordable reliable bike maintenance is easy peasy it's a great bike for beginners great bike for intermediate advanced riders super good for learning and they're super versatile on road off road it's hard to get something that can do so much of everything you know at least a little bit of everything and it's such a fun bike you know trying to find a meadow is what it's called John's Moto Garage. Five things I totally dig about the Supermoto. I still think they're one of the best bikes you can get. Kind of the best of all worlds here. If you dig the content, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more dope videos. Well, they're dope if you like it. If you don't like it, then it's whatever. And whoa, we will hit you guys up on the next one. might be the spot we're looking for. Let's check it out. I gotta scout it out because I don't want to be bringing the, uh, the new van out here if it can't handle it. So far it's not looking too bad. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Check it out. got a camper already out here settled in but I think you can come a little farther back just look how beautiful this is this is crazy it's hard to come across stuff like this out in Arizona I gotta be careful I got some pretty big pretty big ruts I'm messing with and my dirt skills are subpar to say the least whoa oh man is this not like just beautiful out here I'm not really one of those like one with nature zen type dudes but I think being out here I could totally become one with nature finding my inner zen for sure I could take a picture and see if this is the spot Beautiful. All right, let me roll up through here real quick and then we'll probably dip out. I want to keep going, 
but I kind of get the feeling I should go back. So I'm gonna roll back. I got the wifey and the kids at home and they might be doing something soon, so we'll call it a day. But eventually I'd like to make it all the way up to the top, so we'll see.